in this video we are going to do another demo how to add a disk to a domain controller and uh, how to uh, make it available as a shared drive for other uh, users uh, who are connected to the domain controller as a member so i have logged into the microsoft azure portal then from the click on the domain controller then click on the disk so i'm going to add a new additional disk here and the purpose is uh, for the share folder right so just put share drive then click on the save button the size and the iops you can choose as you wish this is for a demo so i'm not worried about all these figures now so once it successfully created the uh, virtual machine then I'm going to log in to the domain controller and this is the machine where we add a new disk and if you click on this uh, PC it is not there so let's go to the disk management and you can see a new disk is appeared here so let's click OK and that will initialize a new disk and you can make a new volume on this assign a new letter then give a name then click finish <clears throat> so now we have a drive share drive so now you can create folders like a share folder then you can give access to specific people for example we have only one user now that is Annie and you have access now read and write then share then done now if I go back to the user PC, I can access this simply by typing the domain name of the machine. You can see I can create uh, folders here. So I have access to write and read. So this also can be mapped as a network drive. I just add this, then click finish. I can see it is showing here. So this is how you can add a new disk to a server or a any virtual machine that you have in your Azure. Then you can create a share folder and share it to this. So the aim of this demo was to uh, let you know how to add additional disk to the uh, Windows to the virtual machines uh, that you have in Microsoft Azure. So that is all. In the next video, we are going to talk about authentication type.